What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Shamshir Sound. In today's video, we're looking at a free plugin by Cable Guys called Pancake 2. So this plugin is used for automating the panning of whatever you want to send through it. In FL, you can use a plugin called Fruity Panomatic. And I've used this on a lot of my tracks, a lot of uh, back verbs where I want to create automations and swoops, um, panning from left to right and speeding up or, or slowing down. It can really create a lot of atmosphere and a lot of depth when you do that, when you automate the panning. So that is what the aim of this plugin is. You can beat sync your panning. You can send it uh, through like a mix. You can automate the mix. You can automate the speed. Um, so there's a variety of ways you can get creative and create a lot of depth and create a lot of ear candy for the listener, whether you want to put this on percussion or anything. So get creative with this plugin. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off Panomatic. We're going to just focus on Pancake 2 here. And I'm going to turn off the plugin and play back the choir so you can get an idea of the raw sound. All right, so it's uh, like a moody kind of choir sound that I just kind of slapped together. Now let's go ahead and turn on Pancake and take a look at this. It's very intuitive with the visuals. So up here we have a few different modes for the LFO. Right now I have it on beat synced. Let's go ahead and listen to that. So really cool, you can get really creative with that. And there's a few different modes here, but I really want to focus on the beat synced. Really like that one. There's beat retrig, beat one shot, and there's this hertz synced and hertz retrig. Now, the thing about the hertz sync is it's cool, but I do get, I kind of get this crackle each time I adjust it. I don't know if it's just because of FL Studio. So you can see because of that, I like to use this um, and that avoids the problem. So really cool and really to top things off, you have all these different presets here different wave types that you can keep in here. So you can come here and be like, Hey, I want to, I want to do something like that. And you can draw on here, get creative. I found it kind of difficult to navigate through this. Um, and they have these different tools here. You can load up different waveforms, uh, randomization. So really cool. You can move it up and down, undo your changes. Really cool. And you can see here, activate step drawing. So if you want to do kind of big steps or kind of like a gatey, uh, maybe like a trance gate or something like that. You know, the possibilities are endless in terms of what you want to do with this. So I really love this plugin. Really cool. There are some built in presets as well that you can check out. So check it out. The link is in the video description. Let me know what you guys think about this plugin. And uh, I've been using it on a lot of stuff in my projects, especially when I just want to kind of spice up some stuff. I specifically really enjoy putting it on back verbs and uh, really kind of effects type of stuff where I can create some dimension in the track. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to smash the like button, drop a comment, stay subscribed, and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.